What's up YouTube? Mike from Mass here. Mass Aquariums and I'm going to bring you an all tank update plus some bonus of what I've been thinking about YouTube these days. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and stay tuned for an all tank update. And a rant. Sneak peek. Super sneak peek. In the basement tanks they are doing super awesome. Look at Mr. Monster Pleco enjoying the scenery. Uh, my 135 gallon freshwater South American blackwater biotope is doing amazing. I'm going to start adding some botanicals as the water is getting a tiny bit clearer. Um, it's really dark a lot because of the complete dark background, but the roots of the pothos are taking off like crazy. The pothos look awesome. The fish are healthy. The scape is beautiful. I got some uh, Madagascar lace bulbs from Green Oasis Farms that have popped and just look awesome. Uh, I've got some mangroves that were also collected by Paul and Chris down in Florida and they look really, really cool. This tank is just sort of settled in and taking care of itself. Got a nasty root system going on here that is only going to get better and looks absolutely badass. Really proud of this tank. Really, it took me a super long time to build this tank, like a long time, but it came together nicely and uh, I'm just loving the way it's the simplicity of the hardscape and the roots and it's just, uh, it can only get better as I keep adding to it. This is sort of a add to project instead of a scape and done project. Really liking the custom aquarium sump, very simple, doing awesome, three chambers, Filter sock, media, heater, return pump. That's really all there is to it for this tank. But all good with this tank. We'll head on over to the 13.5 gallon nano salt water that is stale AF. I don't add anything to this tank. I've added a few uh, GSP. I mean, there are some corals that are starting to spread nicely, but this tank's pretty much here and I just water change it. I'm not experimenting anymore. It's kind of just there, like something I have to take care of, but I'm not really paying attention to it too much. I have a clownfish that never comes out of hiding unless it's feeding time anymore. Um, this tank's just kind of sort of in an odd place. I really do like the rockscape and the bare bottom. I'm just not sure what my next step is with this tank, whether it's getting taken down or I need to mess with the lighting and start some more corals, but that is what that tank is. And then you got the 40 gallon breeder salt tank, which has been pretty much on autopilot um, for the last year. No new corals, nothing crazy, no new fish really, uh, just corals growing, no additions, no subtractions, just kind of going with the flow. Uh, I need to do a whole video on this tank itself. It's just came out absolutely gorgeous and it's uh, you know probably three or three and a half years old right now and it's just weekly actually bi-weekly water changes and job done. So those are the tanks. Let's get to talking. So we might as well stick to this uh, plant the tank right here. 40 gallon breeder. Super luscious and gorgeous tank. Tiger Lotus is kicking some butt. Fish are doing awesome. My new beta just ran into hiding, of course. Maybe I'll get to see him somewhere. No, I don't see him, but this tank has been doing really good. It's pretty much on autopilot. Just like most of my tanks, it is growing in lush and gorgeous. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with the plan of tearing it down when we put new carpet in this room after Thanksgiving or just leaving it up. It seems to be a pretty cool, you know, environment for all the fish to live in. They're all healthy, they're eating, plants are growing, and it looks like super luscious. So we will see with this one. Okay, folks, old school, sit in front of the beautiful aquarium and do some talking. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say dilly dilly to all my fans out there. So cheers to you. Um, 
There's a few things I've been wanting to get off my mind basically for a long time. Um, how I've been feeling about YouTube lately. Excuse me, Huckleberry. Um, this is by no means a shot at any one individual. And I just, this will probably be a sort of a rambling video because you know me, I don't have any scripts. I just, this was the time where I was just like, gonna shoot a video want to get it out how I feel because I have a lot of fans and I have a lot of friends that I've met through YouTube that will appreciate um, the video hopefully and you know there's just there's, there's some things that I feel like sort of when I started in YouTube and I'm, I'm not even that like old of a YouTuber only like I don't know like four five six years I don't even know like I don't really keep track of that stuff it just doesn't register until I have to look at a screen but when I first started YouTube it was for fun and for education and I met a ton of good people I met a ton of great people that have become really good friends of mine that I would have never even known existed without this YouTube community so I really appreciate that part of the community getting to know people getting to know their families, getting to know their personal life, um, being legitimate friends with them and caring about, you know, what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis or getting to hang out with them, play games with them, whatever it takes, whatever has happened. I have, I would like to say I'm so grateful for the friendships I've made through being a YouTuber and um, growing as a YouTuber and getting out there and meeting people so I just like to say that but lately I feel that the this is probably not even a word the the genuine the sincerity I like to say the genuality of people it just doesn't seem to be there anymore um, and I know it maybe it seems like that to uh, new youtubers coming up with new youtubers that they have sort of like that connection that where they're both trying to uh, make a name so they become friends but it's more of like the the whole community seems to be there's something awry uh, I can't quite pinpoint it I am uh, street smart very street smart but the sincerity of people these days in the YouTube community just seems to be a bit of a problem to me um, I think and the only name I will drop that I can say for sure I'm not speaking about is Joey. Um, he's just on a, on a whole nother YouTube level. Like that is legit YouTubeism. He's making videos that millions and millions and millions of people are watching and he's good at it. So when I say this, I am excluding Joey. Uh, that's the only name I'm excluding when, on this little tiny rant is there seems to be sort of a bit of YouTuber subscriber hierarchy like where if you're at a certain subscriber count that somehow in real life it makes you like above someone and I have never felt that way and I don't feel that way I'm never in competition with somebody else's channel like I really want everybody to succeed because like we're such a small niche we should all be rooting for each other legitimately like as a group so the so-called fish community fish fam you know whatever you want to call it whatever people are calling it um, there's something wrong with what's going on and I haven't quite nailed it down but it's just been bothering me and I, I pretty much have nailed it down I just can't really put it in so I haven't been able to express how I feel about it so I'm just gonna ramble about it and you guys can watch or you can shut it off and say you're a boring rambling fuck like you've always been mass but I'm still watching so there's sort of like a subscriber hierarchy I'd like to think that doesn't exist in the real world like we're all here making fish videos my videos half the time absolutely absolutely suck but people watch 
and I watch videos that people have, you know, 800 subscribers or 1,200 subscribers or 10,000 subscribers that are absolutely amazing. So whether you have 40,000 or 400,000 or 4,000 or 400 or 4, um, I don't really think that matters in real life. When you meet people in real life, it sort of feels like with some people it matters. Um, so it doesn't matter to me and a lot of other people I know. It's not really sort of a competition that it's made out to be that I, I've been seeing a lot lately. Uh, I do apologize. I'm super hoarse today for some reason. I haven't smoked a cigarette in almost five years, but I feel like I just smoked like two packs of cigarettes. Purely for throat uh, easement. So the hierarchy of YouTube, I think, is, is sort of getting out of hand. Um, the actual videos, I feel, have been getting a little out of hand. They're not so much for education and uh, to show people your tanks and how you've been doing. I feel like it's more for an AdSense purpose. Don't get me wrong, I want everybody to make money. If they can make money, make money, but, you know... It's tough for me to talk about the quality of a video because my video is really, you know, it's it's a guy with an iPhone, like CJ says, that points and lets you know what's going on and then and then uploads it. But there's tons and tons of videos out there. I can't even keep track of uh, just trying to get that that view to get that check, which is nice. Sometimes you get a good AdSense check or you don't. You're not worried about that or you are. Again, this is a, a, a rambling video where... I, I don't, I'm not here to throw anybody under the bus. I want people to make money. I want people to thrive. I want people to get along. I want people to realize we're all in this together. This is a one uh, community thing, not a, not a high school clique, which, which I've been noticing a lot lately. And when years ago, now I'm, Folks, I'm talking about myself and my experience with YouTube and how, where I've been over the years. It used to be very genuine and very sincere, and I feel lately it's more cutthroat and, and who's out for who, or who's going to do the next thing, or who's going to do this. Um, oh, and by the way, shameless plug, but this has nothing to do with my company that I own. This has to do with me being a fish keeper and a family guy and a YouTuber and, and just how I feel lately about YouTube. And it's just, you know, there's something wrong with it. I don't really want to shoot videos like I used to because it wasn't about how many views. It was just about having fun and shooting a video and, and talking with the people that talk to you on your chat or do this, just like I do my live streams. But lately there's so much... Uh, it's not competition, by the way. It doesn't feel like a competition. It feels more of a very cutthroat. And, hey, I just, I had to put this video out. I had a lot of feelings to express. Uh, and I wanted to put it on film and get it out to you guys. What will probably happen is my phone has probably already run out of batteries and half this got cut off and then it'll be useless. So I'm hoping that didn't happen. But there's something wrong with the YouTube community. Uh, it doesn't feel like a fish family. It doesn't feel like a sincerity, sincere community. It feels sort of awry. Um, and there are plenty of people out there that know what I'm talking about. There's plenty of people out there that are sincerely awesome and love fish keeping and love the community. And there's sincerely people out there that are trying to make it and be a part of the community and are genuinely nice and just want to be involved and then there's plenty of people out there that are just out to just like really it means nothing to do with the community it's just like out for blood it feels like almost but that's my opinion and my opinion only uh with that i will call it a night this is mike from mass dilly dilly i'm out